Good morning. It's Monday the 9th of October 2023 and today I'm visiting Islam Hall. Island Park lies in the Staffordshire Moorlands district of Staffordshire. In October 1934, Islam Hall was donated to the National Trust and the main hall has since been leased to the Youth Hostel Association. So Island Hall is a youth hostel, one that's still run by the YHA and I stayed here myself for one night back in 1986. Crikey, that's not short of 40 years ago. <laughs> yeah, it was one of my favourite youth hostels at the time. I was staying here for one night and uh, the following morning I walked up through Dovedale and spent the next night at Hartington Youth Hostel. So yeah, for that sort of that couple of days I stayed in the best youth hostels in the Peak District. Yeah, it's nice to see that island hall still open. Shop here. Yeah. And this a dog friendly area to eat your food and tea that you've purchased in the tea room. <laughs> Excellent. Lovely. And over here, probably one of the most important things as far as I'm concerned, toilets. <laughs> Island Hall was partly demolished in the 1930s and remnants of the hall can be spotted in the Italian garden and surrounding parkland. Yeah, I really love Island Park. The hall, the church, manifold tea rooms. Yeah. And it's just an absolutely fantastic location. I come here quite a lot actually because it's not far for me to drive from home. Okay, I shall get on with today's walk now then. I'll take a look at the church later. My walk starts over this way. By the time I finish the walk, I'll pass the church then. This is the River Manifold. Lovely. We're actually very close to the mouth of the river. There's just a short way down there, beyond Island Village, it flows into the River Dove. But today's walk actually takes me upstream. So, for the first part of the walk, I'm going to be walking on that side of the River Manifold. I follow the footpath beside the river to walk along a section of the Manifold Trail. It 
it's lovely to be back in the Manifold Valley again. Wonderful. And it's also nice doing another walk closer to home. I've said this before, but you know, living in the Peak District, I'm living in a gold mine. It's spoilt for so many beautiful places to explore. And uh, this part of the Peak District, although it falls within Staffordshire, still not very far from where I live. It took me about 35 to 40 minutes to drive here this morning, so not bad. So yeah, I'm looking forward to exploring more of the Manifold Valley again. In just over half a mile, I turned left to cross a footbridge over the river. Crossing over the manifold now then. Okay, so for the next part of the walk, I should be following this side of it. <laughs> I crossed several fields and began to get more elevated views over the Manifold Valley. In another half a mile, I emerged onto a lane in the quiet hamlet of Rushley. I'm in Rushley now. Just a quiet little spot. Okay, so I've just got to follow this lane now. Just a little bit of road bashing, but along here I know there will be some more fantastic views over the Manifold Valley. This is lovely. A slight breeze, not too windy, but I'm not cold. Can't believe it. We're into October now, and I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt. <laughs> yeah, it's unheard of at this time of year. But hey, I think someone up there must have known that I was taking this week off work. <laughs> I was meant to be taking last week off work, um, but due to things that were going to be happening in work, I swapped for this week. So. I'm very glad I did because a lot of last week ended up wet anyway and this week, including today, we're going to get at least three days of sunshine and mild weather. Fantastic! So, yeah, I can't complain at all. Anyway, I'm just arriving at my next port of call now. Hall is one of the most imposing and architecturally important ruins in the Peak District National Park. The building stands in what was once an extensive medieval landscape, which included ridge and furrow cultivation strips, a deer park and other field enclosures. This extensive landscape of fields, cultivation strips and other earthworks, reflecting the centuries that people have farmed this area, lived, hunted, worked and died, continues down the lower Manifold Valley, as far as Islam Hall. I've said this before with other ruins, but 
ruins are what they say on the tin, ruins. <laughs> but it doesn't mean to say that they're not impressive. Throw the old hall is no exception. Lovely. I think what helps with Throwley is also its location. It's in a lovely spot. Throwley was first recorded as a residence in 1203, when Oliver de Meverell settled here. The Meverell family remained owners of the estate for many years. So that was Throwley Old Hall. Lovely. Okay, well this is where I move away from the Manifold Valley now, as I head up there. From Throwley Old Hall, I took a path climbing steadily as I headed southwards. After three quarters of a mile, I turned right at a T-junction, following a path along the edge of fields. Passing beside Slade House, I continued south, soon going through a large farm gate. I do love these quiet sunken lanes. Lovely. Okay, well I'm now approaching the village of Colson. My path emerged onto a lane leading into Colton. Do you know, I'm not even sure I've been to Colton before. <laughs> if I have, I'd have probably just done it the once and that would have been driving through. Yeah, so I'm sort of counting this as my first proper visit to Colton. Opposite the Memorial Hall is St Mary's Church, rebuilt on the present site in 1672 and restored in 1875. Question was, would the church be open for me? Also a lovely little church, and it's a bonus to be able to come inside as well, that's lovely. Heading east from the village, I followed Green Lane for a third of a mile, making for a stile on the left. Unfortunately, upon reaching it, there was no access to the footpath. Well, this is a new one on me. I think that says, closed broken style, use dog lane, thanks. I think that just says SCC at the bottom. Oh, so that'll be Staffordshire County Council. Was Staffordshire County Council really put such a sign on that gate there? Looks rather amateurish. <laughs> yeah, well, clearly somebody doesn't want you to go through this gate. Blimey, that's the way I was meant to be going. Okay, well I've checked the map anyway and Dog Lane is a little bit further up here, so I'll just have to go that way. Okay, no problem. I will say to myself that you never know what each day is gonna bring. <laughs> it makes all the walks more interesting, that's what I say. This is Dog Lane then, so this is the diversion. 
Okay, let's get on with it. It's not really too far out of my way. Only a, a little bit extra to the route that I'd planned, so nothing to complain about. I just hope that after what I did see back there, that uh, there aren't going to be any more closures on the way, so we'll see. But I can't believe that Staffordshire County Council would actually use that bit of plastic uh, with the instructions written in permanent marker on there. That doesn't seem right somehow. Yeah. Oh well. There you go. At Dog Lane Farm, I went through a gate to enter a path crossing several fields. I passed Musden Low and headed down into a valley below Hazelton Clump. My path eventually came out onto Island Moor Road which I followed for a short distance before taking a path through more fields. Before long, the path emerged in the churchyard in the village of Blore. This is Blore, and I'm at another church. Let's see if this one's open too. Dear walkers, please remove your boots before entering the church and leave them in the porch. Your cooperation is much appreciated. Thank you. Hmm. Fair enough, I don't mind doing that. Wonderful. That's two churches today then that I've managed to get inside. I must admit though, this is the first church that I've ever been inside where I've not had anything on my feet before. <laughs> Well, now that I'm at Blore Pastures, I've got less than a mile to go before I finish the walk, so that's good. And in a moment, I should be able to see some fantastic views again. That's the Isaac Walton Hotel over there. Been in there just once a few years ago for a cup of tea. Yeah. Sort of on the skyline to the right is Thorpe Cloud. And then to the left you've got Bunster Hill. So in between Bunster Hill and Thorpe Cloud is the start of Dovedale. Yeah. Okay, I just gotta head down this way now then, as I head back into Ireland. So I've arrived in the village of Ireland, and this is where I started today's walk this morning. Ireland is situated in the Manifold Valley, where the River Manifold meets the River Dove. This is the Grade II listed Mary Watts Russell Memorial Cross, Mary being the wife of Jesse Watts Russell. Most of the village buildings date from the 19th century, and many are built in a unique Swiss chalet style. Well, Islam is yet another beautiful Peak District village. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. People are still living in those homes there. What fascinating old buildings, aren't they lovely?
I'm approaching Island Hall again now then, but before I finish, let's see if I can get inside the church. Fantastic. I managed to get inside this one. I thought I probably would be able to. But, uh, that's three churches on today's walk that I've managed to get inside. Wow, that's a record for some time. <laughs> ah. yeah. And it's the first time I've been inside this one. Bearing in mind I've come to Island Park quite a lot over the years. So yeah, my very first time inside this church. Well, that is indeed a beautiful church. Beautiful inside as well as outside. And what a setting, fantastic. Okay, well that's the walk over now because I'm back at Island Hall. I would like to go and have a cup of tea, but the tea room will be closed now, but never mind. It's been a wonderful walk all the same.